Dang, sexy man. We are already underway with our dens too. We're gonna we're playing 7.6, the tip of the spear. Uh, wardrobe and I went through and we were reading the rules the other night on a little little chat we were having, going through some of the rules and finding some things that were a little maybe just some typos or something or need a little explanation. And I mean, we got one or two of them worked out. I know Kev over Big Board, he's got a couple things he's looking at with deployment and stuff like that. But uh, we got our scenarios set up, and I'm already rocking and rolling on this one here. I played through the first half of the first turn, and much like Wardrobe said, love the artillery. Okay, so I've already got to use the artillery rules. I've already got to use the reconciliation, which <laughs> the Americans, you can see, if you look close enough, you can see they've got four full barrages sitting on the table, and the Germans have two. Uh, they had a couple of halves that failed. I've already used the retreat rules for the mechanized stuff over here. And one unit here moved back underneath this artillery. I uh, just sort of pulled them out of combat and not have to worry about getting steps handed to them. Now, one thing I remember about SCS is the combat odds until you hit three to one's okay. It's better. It's in favor of the defender, but you need to get four to one and up to make sure. Well, that's not always that easy in this game because these barrage markers, much like the DGs used to reduce attack and defense strength, well, these barrage markers do the same thing, but here's the difference. You could have more than one barrage marker in a hex. All right, now here's the deal. When we were trying to figure this out, I think we're waiting for an answer on this. But you'll see in the turn sequence chart there that at the start of the German turn, remove barrage markers, start of the U.S. turn, remove barrage markers. Well, we kind of think that one at the start of the German turn this probably doesn't need to be there because right above it in the pre-turn, since the Germans start every turn, there is remove all barrage markers for both U.S. and German. Now, the U.S. gets two barrage phases, one during the German phase, one during the, their own phase. So the barrage marker removal on the U.S. turn would make sense for the U.S. to remove their barrage markers that they dropped during the German turn. But it wouldn't be fair to the Germans to remove theirs because the barrage can affect, barrages affect movement and combat. So I'm going to assume, and somebody can clarify, that the U.S. turn barrage marker removal is to only remove theirs. So that the Germans' artillery still has its chance to affect the Americans as they move and do combat. All right? And then, of course, the U.S., they get the barrage again. So it would make sense to remove theirs at the start of their phase. So that's how I'm doing it until somebody tells me otherwise. <clears throat> uh, and if you tell me that I got to remove the German ones too during that phase, well, then German artillery is completely useless other than during their phase and their combats. So I'm leaving them. And then I'll remove them at the end or during the pre-turn. I'll remove all the barrage markers and we'll start fresh. Okay. I think the artillery rules are actually nice and simple. You just, you, you're, you're barraging. You know, there's no strength on the artillery. It's They just have a range. And, you know, you just roll a dice. If they hit, depending on what number you get in the train they're in, you're going to put either a half barrage marker on it. You might get lucky and put a full barrage marker on it. And in the reconciliation, all you're doing is rolling against the half barrage markers to see if they get removed uh, and apply no effect or they get flipped over to a full barrage. Okay. So, anyhow, we tried to move out. The only real successful attack we had was over here. Where they because they retreated and the Germans uh, as clarified in Facebook somebody clarified it for us the Germans need to take four victory hexes so they already own two so in total it's six so they need to take four so they got one um, this attack failed in here with well it didn't fail both sides took a step loss nothing here nothing here nothing here this attack failed in here correction we did not do that attack. This attack was successful, and it, it destroyed, completely destroyed this unit. Uh, and he was under a barrage marker, so that's why. So that one's done. Um, and then down here, you can see a step loss on both sides. So that was a split there. But So there you go. We're progressing. The white X's are the victory locations, and the Germans have captured one. They already own two, so they need to get three more. And I believe it's at the end of the game. And this game's only four turns long, so the Americans will have to strike back. And they've got units sitting back up in there. You've got armored divisions all over the place that they can move down in there. All right. 
So there you go, R10s too. two, it's being played. Let's get this up. You see how Hexy's getting started and wardrobe I'm sure I'll have one here shortly too. See ya.